Okay, so now we're going to continue with some more algebra questions. Now we're going to look at solving equations with algebra. So, let's look at an equation. We have 4a plus b equals 2a plus 5b. Now, what we're told to do is make A the subject of this. So, first thing we need to do, we need to get all the A's onto one side of the equal sign and all the B's onto the other side of the equal sign. So, how are we going to do that? So, let's look at the A's. Let's try and get the A's onto the left-hand side. So, we need to get rid of all the A's from the right-hand side. So, how do we get rid of a from this side, how do we make there be zero a on this side of the equal sign? Well, we've got two a's, so we need to take two a's away. So on this side, we need to take away two a. Now, whatever we do to the right hand side of the equal sign, we have to do to the left hand side of the equal sign. We have to do exactly the same thing on either side to make sure we're still keeping the same equation. So I need to take away two a from this side as well. So the new equation I get will be 4a plus b take away 2a will equal 2a plus 5b take away 2a. Now we'll see on this side they cancel out. On this side, as we know already, we'll simplify it. So we'll get 2a plus b equals 5b. Okay, now the problem is we've still got a b on this side. So we need to get rid of the b from this side. So what do we do? We've got one b on this side. We need to take away b from this side of the equation. So we need to take away b. So we need to do that to both sides. So we end up with... 2a plus b, take away b, there's our cancelling out, equals 5b, take away b. So, what we end up with, let's write that out a bit neater, 2a equals 5b minus b is 4b. 2a equals 4b. Right, 2a equals 4b, so what will a equal? Well, if 2a equals 4b, I'm sure you've already worked the answer out to this one, a will equal 4b divided by 2. So we need to divide this side by 2 to cancel the 2's out, and divide this side by 2. So effectively we're doing, what we're doing is 2a over 2 equals 4b over 2. Okay, divide both sides because it's time we need to divide it and then we get the two cancels with the two. We're left with just A and the four goes down to two. So A equals two B. That is essentially rearranging equations, solving equations, whatever you want to call it. We'll do another one just for practice. Okay, so again, this time we don't have any b's, we've just got numbers. So a is going to, we're going to find out an actual value for a. So instead of saying make a the subject this time, we're told to find what a must equal. So, same thing again. Let's get all the a's on the left hand side. Let's get all the numbers on the right hand side. So, how do I get rid of a from the right hand side? 5a, I need to take 5a away. So I have to take away 5a from this side. Again, if I do something to this side, I have to do the same thing to this side. So I take away 5a from this side. So I end up with 12a minus 6 minus 5a equals 8. Now, I'm, I'm not bothering to write in 5a minus 5a again here because I already know they're going to cancel out. It's not going to be there. I can just write 8 straight away. So I've got minus 12a minus 5a, that's going to give me 7. 
Tov Lev, which I gave you seven. Okay, so seven, eight, minus six equals eight. Okay, what I need to do now, again, I need to get rid of the six from this side. So to get rid of the six, yes. is it just a six? No, there's a negative sign in front of it. It's minus six. Minus six, how do I get to zero? I add six. So this time I'm going to add six to both sides of the equation. Okay, so seven, eight. I'm not going to bother writing. Add six minus six, so I know that's zero. Equals eight, add six. That equals 14. We don't have to write it out, we can just write it straight in. So seven, eight equals 14. Again, it's quite obvious what a is going to equal, but what we need to do, we need to get rid of the 7 here. It's times in the a, we get rid of that by dividing it. So 7, we divide both sides by 7. Okay, so we get 7a divided by 7 equals 14 divided by 7. So we therefore these cancel, and we get that a equals 2. Very straightforward. Okay, now we're going to add in one more level of complexity. Okay, now we'll straight away that looks a lot more difficult than the uh, questions we've done before. However, it really isn't. Okay, so our problem is we can't just straight away simplify this. It's not that easy to straight away just simplify because of this plus sign. We need to do that first. So what we need to do here, we need this, because it's all on the bottom, we can essentially put it in a bracket. And once it's in a bracket, we can see what we need to do. We need to times, to get rid of it, we need to times this whole side by A plus 3B. Okay, we times that whole side by A plus 3B, that's going to cancel with the bottom. And we're going to have just 6a plus 2b on the bottom. So what we essentially get is 6a plus 2b equals 4 times by a plus 3b. Okay? Now, we need to multiply out. So we get 6a plus 2b equals 4a plus 12b. Now all of a sudden it's just like the questions we were doing before. So that just one extra step, we have to times it out by what we had on the bottom, remembering that we had to times it by the whole thing, and we're straight back to the questions we were doing before. So let's just finish it off. Let's get rid of A from this side. We need to take away 4a. Remember, we need to do that to both sides. So we get 6a minus 4a on this side. 2a plus 2b equals 12b. Okay? And then we need to get rid of b from this side. So again, we need to take 2b away from this side and take 2b away from this side. So we end up with 2a equals. 10b. Okay, you can probably see the answer straight away again, but let's work it through. We need to divide this side by 2, and divide this side by 2. That will cancel our 2's out, giving us that a equals 5b. Okay, the simple. Make sure you follow this working, uh, you understand what's going on and have a practice of the questions in the book and then we'll come back and we'll look at some slightly more complex questions.